All right. We have it recording. Uh, Black Black Mesa. There it is. Uh, no, we're going on to Office Complex. It's a real bitch of a chapter, ain't it? So uh, surprisingly, I I don't know why, but uh, yesterday I didn't have to activate Matt Fulbright as much as I always do when I'm playing. Some of the sections were actually like really seeable and. At least, I think, on the recording, it rendered, and you guys could see better than I could see. So, that's good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Come! Resume. I really like Office Complex in Mesa Black. Fuck. Why is it not working? Play Black Mesa. All right, that still works, the map full bright toggle. Ooh, a room. Those are updated models that I found on the workshop. Ah. Vents are literally blind. This is how I can see myself in events. Otherwise, there is no way to see what the fuck you're doing inside events in this game. At least for me, there isn't. Like, not even on the recording is there a way to see what's going on inside this vent. So now that we've explored that part, let's go this way. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Did the other scientist get eaten by the barnacle? Oh no, he was trying to eat a prop. That little idiot. Here, I'll take care of that fucker. Anyway. I like doing that. Oh. Shouldn't have gone for the head like that, bro. Also should have, like, woken up a lot faster, you idiot. See, this soundtrack is why I actually like it. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. That hound I was watching TV. I'm an asshole. Whatever, I, I kill a lot more hound eyes in this game. 
Ow! Holy shit, guys. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Don't set that guy on water. That ungrateful little shit is supposed to burn, I say. Not like head crabs can feel gratitude, so yeah. Hold on. Somewhere here is. Yeah, like me. He claims to have supplies. Shotgun! So, guys, we have found a new weapon. So now we have a security guard with us. Motherfucker is hiding. Found you. Hey, hands off the merchandise, boy. Let me see. Well, wow, they don't even have the ability to get mad at me for firing at them. That's disappointing. Oh, buddy, follow.
The Black Mesa shotgun is so good. Like, genuinely, it is so good. The sound of it is my favorite. The pistol is also pretty great, I'll tell you. Get some soda. Good point. Jesus. No, no, no. What's he saying? Why was he making all those noises? I didn't even know some of those were voice lines. Alright, guys. Crawl through here. And... Do not touch the floor. Unless it's for a very short amount of time. You can, for some reason, touch the literal electricity, though. You can bowl that frickin' head crab up the vent. That's how you check out for, um, head crabs in vents. We'll probably get to that health pack later. Oh! I didn't expect that. The black dust. Yeah. They're dead. Uh, I'll get another vent for you. All right. So yeah, we have to do a lot of help for this little security boy. Uh oh. What's that? Is this an automated sentry turret? I forgot how much damage that thing does, but yeah, we have to shut it down if we want to even walk through here. Because we can just run through, but I want that security guard to be living. I like that he's still talking to me. That was funny how he said Jesus Marie. Or no, he said Jesus Maria and Jose. I'm back. Alright. 
So now we have two security guards. Let's save here because we want these guys. We want as many of them as we can get by the end of the game. Or by the end of the level, I meant. <laughs> Tell them to stay. Because this next part will almost certainly fucking kill them. Hmm. Let me try this. I thought they were about to kill me because I shot the scientist. Ugh. No. Stay back. Thanks, because... Don't let them die. Security guards are pretty frickin' strong against Vortigaunts and all that stuff. But... Or, they're pretty strong against zombies, head crabs, everything. Even bull squids, they can, like, fucking destroy effortlessly. Um, in all seriousness, Black Mesa security guards are pretty great. But, um, uh, Vortigaunts are their only problem, dog. I can't trick him into... Well, he almost saved me from that barnacle if I didn't... Hi. Why? What the fuck is wrong with the models? Yeah, Cliff Main. You don't need to take scientists with you, but you can. Anyway, it seems that all of the... Vortigaunts are dead, so... You can take these two scientists with you. Um, that other scientist... Or no, you can take these two guards with you. Uh, that other scientist in there, Clifford... What was it? Yeah. He's a little bitch. Also, you have to go up this... I love the voice lines of the guards in this game. So leave them down here. There are at least lights in this vent, so I can see where I'm going. Oh, thank god. I sometimes get stuck in this loading zone, or in this vent. Whoa. Ah! Elevator. This elevator is kind of creepy because of the noises it makes. And because of that. Anyway. Run along. 
It'll be but a moment. Hold on. Ah, uh, man, I can't turn it back on because of the head crabs. Come on. Get into crowbar range. They're into crowbar range. So, that was a sentry turret, and it would have killed me and the guards, like, within seconds. I'm not even sure you can run past it fast enough without, like, losing all of your suit power and, like, maybe even some of your health. So next, the shotgun is also fucking amazing in this game because of how it kills uh, Vortigaunts. Nice ass. Oh, I can open it from here. That's very good. Follow me, guys. Follow Freeman Part 1. Walk into this part because I want you to be with me when I go into that loading zone. There it is. That's the loading zone. <laughs> this looks very funny to me. I don't know why it just does. I think that scientist is a little bitch and doesn't want to come with. But keep your crowbar near it. I killed it, you idiot. They're dead. So I can see in this part. Nah, I'm just killing Vorts because they're annoying. So now we have three guards, but we're gonna go without them, because fuck them, guards. It looks like it frosted over in here. Like, this really looks cold. I don't know why. I really like that noise, the one that the car makes. Hold on.
Alright, let me land on you. I think ragdolls don't cause too much fall damage. It was my arse, because I just landed on you. Alright, there we go. We made it. We made it. We're fine. Anyway, now we have all three security guards and one scientist. Oh my god. Alright, we didn't lose a guard. That's good. Coca-Bola. I wish I could just drink all of this stuff. Don't you guys agree? So. There are ways that. So, since Friendly Fire is on, this is also why Friendly Fire was disabled in Half-Life 2, but since Friendly Fire is on, uh, these guys have a tendency to accidentally shoot each other when you put, like, more than, like, multiple of them in a room. Yeah. So let them stay there. They'll be fine. Yo, look at the subtitles. He just said El Camino. I mean, yeah, the game does take place in Albuquerque, or, uh, New Mexico, so, yeah. I don't know where, um, Black Mesa is, though. Like, is it in... Is it near Albuquerque? Is it near Santa Fe? Is it just, like, in a really weird... So here it is, the freezer section. The one part that I really don't need anything to see well on. I feel like Black Mesa made the freezer section really fucking good. Like, really good. No, there is literally none. So yeah, you, you want to know something funny about this chapter? Oh, wow, it's been a moment since we've seen those uh, bull squids. I uh, I wonder how they're doing. Uh, maybe, maybe we won't see them in this chapter. Can you make her come with you? No. She's actually supposed to get clawed down by those zombies, but you're allowed to save her. Not that it really does you any good, because she's not scripted really to have much happen afterwards. Anyway, where do we go now? Uh, okay, there. Uh, oh, never mind, figured it out. Right. Ah, yes. A wonderful day in the Black Mesa refrigerator. What the fuck is that thing? A bunch of chunks of nothing. That's what it is now. Anyway, we technically didn't see any bull squids in this level because I fucking killed that one. I want to be able to see this part. Time to beat my meat. Okay, 
let's not. What a pathetic bitch. He didn't even try to subvert his death. Oh, right, I have to do that. Ah. This game is frustrating. Maybe I can just prop fly to skip this bitch. No, they patched prop flying too? My god, what is this? George Orwell's book? Animal fart? In 1984, I couldn't prop fly to the top. There we go. It would have been quicker to, you know, do it the normal way, but... Oh, right, I forgot. I don't need to look at what I'm doing anymore. Alright, there we go. Got through the freezer part. I really liked it. Black Mace is good. It's better than normal Half-Life. Maybe I was just kidding. And maybe, you know, a bunch of fucking goons are gonna come at me. That's because sometimes original doesn't exactly mean it's better. I mean, sure, for nostalgia and getting original. Yeah? Hi. Hi. Busy. Alright, see ya. See ya. Right, but like I was saying, you know, for nostalgia and getting the actual, like, original experience, the original Half-Life is better, but for gameplay, Black Mesa trumps Half-Life. Not that I know, well, actually, yes, I do, but whatever. All right, yeah, I need to see where I'm going. Okay. I'm right on top of you. I just talked to you, idiot. So now we have the full gang, two scientists and several security guards, like a lot of them. Sadly, I don't think the action scientist is in this game. <laughs> or the G-Man. Oh, he is! Well, oh shit, he... The action scientist is also in this game, except he doesn't work nearly as well. Oh, fuck. One of them died. Anyway, just because I feel like it... Oh, fuck, that was a bad idea. Yeah, 
Eh, yeah, whatever, they'll be fine. Now on to We've Got Freeman. They also nerfed this jump, which is a hell of a lot of work there. Here we are. This chapter is bright. Oh! Oh. Oh, it's already dead. It didn't even tell me. Sorry. I don't really feel obliged to switch to a cheaper weapon. Here we go. I like how they didn't, like, take the NPCs directly from Half-Life 2. Like, that's dedication there. Anyway, back to school. We have to place a barrel right here and another one right next to it. And there they all go. All dead. Just like that, you don't get mowed down by the turrets, but those...
Or maybe you do. I don't know. Hold on. How? How did that count? We did it. We did it. We're fine. We're all right. It's all good, man. No supplies. Huh. Disappointing. Oh, shit. This is where things go down, boys, girls, gentlemen, people, people, people is kind of a funny word, I don't know why, I, I, yes, we're playing Black Mesa, and the most important thing I can say is that the word people sounds funny to me, very, Here we go. Yes. He was shooting at you. Idiot. Oh, it will. It will. Scientist bastard. Anyway. Bye. I was about to shoot him, but I failed. So here it is, the military. Oh, shit. Where are they? He's dead. Here we go. Now we can force them to either go in from that way or open the door, and they're gonna die either way.
Anyway, the military in this game are really difficult to fight. Like, we've got hostiles and surface tension are immensely fucking difficult in this game. Although they're really fun when you can do it right. And chances are you can. Just requires a lot of practice and really being careful. There are a lot of interesting ways to deal with this part. Er, no, wrong button. So, if you can see over there, there are turrets. And we can do this, although it'll take a lot of damage in the process. Never mind. Don't worry, guys, I got him. I'm working for you. Oh, my God. Hi. No? Unless you're referring to yourself in third person. Come on. You're dead. You're so dead. I'd feel bad for you if you if it didn't look so cool. But in the end, you didn't suffer. After all, destroying persons utterly in, like, really epic ways doesn't count as terrorism or suffering. As long as you don't, like, draw it out and actually make them suffer. Alright, there we go. Now I can see where I'm going, and I don't need it anymore. Anyway, that was a really fun chapter, or part. Oh! 
Would you look at that? I'm faster than a barnacle. K-I-L, what does that mean? Come in Lake Michigan? Uh-oh. So now you just have to wait. What the fuck? Hi. You just gibbed your partner, buddy. Let me just retry this. Now we can just wait right here. They'll eventually start coming towards us. Oh. Yeah. See? Headphones really help in this game because you can hear Hey, get inside. You're dead. Oh fuck, there's more of you. Oh god, he does the... Bald. That's a previous loading zone, by the way. Or, no. Whatever. There is a shotgun... I was about to say, there is a shotgun marine soldier right over there. He has the ability to do insanely unbelievable amounts of damage to you. Like, even on easy mode, he's a threat. A really big one, by the way.
So there are lots of supplies in these boxes over here. So that's the freight elevator to the last part of the level. So it seems we've stocked more on health now. Here we go. Next loading zone. Greatest part. Examine your weapons. Reload them if you need to. Look at the time outside. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, I am killing you. Kill the first two guys that come down here. And then run. Boom. We're done with We've Got Hostiles. Now we just need to find that one scientist who says something like blah, 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 blah. Oh, hi, free man. I'm going to open the silo nor. Yeah? Minor lacerations, minor fracture, minor amount of bitches detected. Sucks. You didn't make it to 13, did you? Oh, yeah? Alright guys, we've just finished.